Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalanda and this is Saving with Shalanda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. Today is another um, Canva tutorial. I am in the process of creating a dashboard for one of my free um, Dollar Tree games. So I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. So I just want to show you what I'm going to do for it, okay? So we're going to start at the top here and press Create Design. We're going to go down to Flyer. You can take type Flyer in the search bar for 8.5 by 11, just like that, guys. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to go down to the bottom of the screen here to make this about 50%. So you can kind of see it a little bit better, guys. About 50%. Let me go over here. All right, so hopefully you can see that, guys. Okay, so now we're going to go in, into our design elements, guys. We're going to go here. Let's see. So design. We're going to go to elements over here, guys. We're going to type in lines or shapes. It should be a square here, so I'm going to just click onto this square, guys. And I'm going to make an A5 and an A6 um, dashboard, guys. I'm going to do the A5 first. And so our sizing for A5 is um, 8 across and 5, 8 by 5. So 8, so there's 8. And then we're going to shorten this to five, 8 by 5. Did you see that, guys? So 8 by 5, let me write right there, 8 by 5. That's what we want. We're going to make a border on this, guys. So click this box right here, border. Then we're going to do a weight on here. We're just going to type in 15. All right, just like that. We're going to select color, and we're going to change the border of this, guys. And I'm going to go down to these gradients here. I've already kind of made this dashboard. I'm just redoing it to show you guys what I've decided on for this. I think I selected this background. Let me check on this one. Yeah, I did this one here. All right, so just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into elements again. And these are some of the things like I'm using. This is a tic-tac-toe game, but you're going to click on tic-tac-toe. Okay. Click on graphics. I will be using pro elements in this, guys, only because this is the dashboard I'm creating for my um, channel. But I can try to make one without with the pro elements, I guess, uh, with the free elements. Let's see. Now I'm going to do the one with the pro. So this is the pro element. This is the one I'm using, not that one. This one here, the first one. So you see the arrow pro. So I'm using this for my design. Okay. Just like that. Then I'm going to type in um, silver coin in my search bar here because that's what I want to use because the token that's for my tic tac toe game are um, silver and gold coins. So I'm going to pick this one here, also a pro element. They have, do they have any, free, let me see if they have any free ones, guys. Like, like a lot of these are pro, guys. That's why I'm telling you, you guys need to get a pro account so you can use some of these uh, nice items in here. Easy graphics, you can just type it in. It should be there, okay? So just like that, I'm going to size these down to, I did one by one. So one by one by one by one, okay? And I'm just going to copy this three times. I'm going to right-click. Duplicate, just like that. Do it again. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to type in gold coin in our elements bar here, gold coin. And I'm going to get the gold version of that silver coin. Also a pro element, guys, just like that. Click it over to my screen. I'm going to resize it to the same thing. So one by one, by one by one. So it's not too big, I guess. Just like that. I'm going to put one there, and I'll put one here, okay? And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add some text to this, okay? So I'm going to go to text box over here, all right? Add a heading. I'm going to type in tic-tac-toe, all in caps, tic-tac-toe. All right, I'm going to um, size this up. I don't know what size I'm going to use. Let's just do 50 for now. I don't know how big I want it to be. Uh, I'm going to change the font here. Um... I'm trying to see what font I actually did use for this. Let's see. I think I might use this one. Let me see what it looks like. Yeah, I think I decided on this one over here, guys. I'll put this on two lines like that. Then I'm going to flip this around. I want my title on this side. I'm going to move this. Hold on. Put it into the box. Okay. I'm going to click this box here because you can see it's a little bit of space in between those words. I don't want that much space between my words. Okay. So line spacing. I'm going to 
go back here to kind of close it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to change the color of my words. I want these to be white so they pop a little bit more, okay? So white. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to do outline. And I'm going to change the outline color to black. So you see how that's um, changing there. I'm also going to do this thickness on that black, maybe to like an 80, so you can kind of see it a little bit more. Yeah, like that, okay? See how that, that is going, guys? All right. Then I'm going to create another text box, guys. Okay, text. I'm going to just do um, another add the heading. I'll do add a subheading. I want this to be a little bit smaller, guys. And in this box, I'm going to just type um, silver, all in caps, and it's going to be $1, and then gold, $2. So that's how much the game the worthy. This is the Dollar Tree game, so it's a low income savings challenge, guys. So if you get a gold tick, a silver tic tac toe is $1, and then the gold tic toe is tic tac toe is $2. Okay. We're going to make this box a little bit bigger. I'm going to turn this one as well. I'm going to use click on the text. You're going to use that arrow to turn it sideways. All right. I want, I want this on the other side of my box here, like this. I want this to be black. So I'll go to my colors, black. Um, I don't remember what text I selected for this one, guys, but um, let's see. Uh, go to text. I mean, that one's okay. Like I said, I'm not a big junkie on um, text and things. I, I just choose anything almost most of the times. Because you'll be all day selecting text, and I hate selecting text for all day, <laughs> all day guys. <laughs> all right, so we're going to um, change the spacing in that, that as well for the line spacing. Okay, we don't want that all the way out there like that, so that's good. And like I said, it's just on the side. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just, I'm going to click on this box. I'm going to move this out the way for a second, okay, guys? So I'm just clicking any, well, clicking anywhere on the box away from the elements, like right here. I'm going to move this box. Okay, so now I want to highlight this entire box right here. Let's see, move this text over to you a little bit. I'm just trying to highlight all my tic-tac-toe elements right here like this. All right, so I'm going to group all these together so I can move that box so I can center it better, okay? So now I'm going to move my A5 box back up there where it was, okay? Let me try to I'm gonna move that text over, but I can move this whole box now, okay? Where I want it to be like that. And then I'm going to move my text over like that. So that is the uh, what I'm going with for my free dashboard that I'm offering on my channel for my um, channel subscribers. Okay, so I'm going to, so this is the A5 size. I'm just going to copy this entire thing, group it all together. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to make this into an A6, okay? So I'm going to move this one down. Okay, I'm going to um, ungroup this, okay? Stay with me. <laughs> Let's see. I'm actually going to um, move this box first. I think I'm going to move the box, but I need to make these elements smaller. Like, I want to group all this back together again. The tic-tac-toe board group. All right. So that way I can make this smaller as need be for the A6 size. And then I want to make this box here. Um, A6 size is six point, let's see, three by three. Hold on, let me see what it is, guys. Three by six by three by three. So we're gonna do 6.5 by three by three. All right. Take that over to 6.5. All right, see that? 6.5. By three by three. There we go. So that's it for A5. And then we're going to move our elements up into this box and size them so that they're, the, they're the same amount as these, okay? This doesn't happen very easily for all the challenges, guys, but for like some type of dashboards, it can. But like most of the times when I have to resize my games and some my, my game boards and things, it won't work. I have to create the whole new A6. All right, same situation. We're going to put six hectares on that side. We're going to make this a little bit smaller, guys. Side it down and put that on that side. A little bit smaller. That's a little big to me. All right. 
So yeah, guys, this is what you do when you want to um, give your subscribers um, a freebie. You know, like I said, this I want my subscribers to um, play one of these free Dollar Tree challenges. So like I said, I'm offering them a free dashboard so they can kind of like play along with me on my channel. I'm grouping all this together really quickly. I'm just going to move it over like that. So this is going to be my free printable that I'm going to put onto my um, YouTube page, okay? And so that is done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to download it because it's done. Oh, wait, let me do this kind of on the board. I'm going to move it. Let me ungroup it really quick. Ungroup. All right, let's get it ungroup everything. Let me move this just in case and then group the whole thing. Let me group this back up. I just want to make this a little bit smaller, guys, because it's kind of like on the border. You know, I care a little bit, you know, make sure, make sure it's right. All right. I like that. And then if I wanted to make it a little bigger, I could, depending on the situation. I just want to make sure it wasn't. Okay. So I, that looks a lot better to me. Okay. But like I said, I'm going to just group that back, guys. Group. All right. Then we are going to go to this corner here for the share. We are going to go to download here. We're going to change our file type to PDF print here, okay? And then it's going to do all the pages. Let me see, is this one page? One page, okay, download. Okay, so it has downloaded, guys. Let me go down to my documents here. I'm going to open it up. Come on, where's that? Okay, there it is, guys. I was getting worried, okay? <laughs> so this is uh, what the final product looks like, guys, once you download it. So this is what you will send to the printer if you wanted to print these out and things like that. So I'm going to send this, actually send this to the printer, guys, and I have it professionally printed out. I suggest you do the same for the best quality, but this is what you would get, guys. It's all on one page, A5 and A6. Well, that's what it looks like, guys. So that is the free gift to my subscribers to um, go get this game from the Dollar Tree so they can play along with me. So that's how you do that, guys, basically, okay? So I am done here. That is our lesson for today. And if you need help, um, this will be on your desktop. If you, save, if you download it to your desktop, you to send it to, upload it to YouTube. Basically, what you would do is, let's see, okay. Like I said, I would just email this to myself and then it's going to give you a code where you can share this document. I think this code here will work too. Let me see. Uh, you can copy link here. This should work as well, I believe. Only I can access if you're using this link. You have to share this over here somewhere. There's another link up here to share. Another way to share this, guys. But like I said, I'm just going to use the PDF that I just downloaded, guys. And I'm going to um, share it with you guys on um, YouTube when I get done. But I am done with this video, guys. Give, uh, let me know how I did in today's tutorial. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I'll be having a few more tutorials coming soon. I know someone asked me to do A7 inserts, so I'll be doing those soon, guys. Okay? I just want to get one video done because I got a lot going on, guys. But I, I do want to try to get like a regular schedule where I have at least one um, Canva tutorial per week for you guys. Okay? Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload my next video. Uh, please share my video, guys. Please like, comment below. All right, I am done. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.